Hey guys, welcome back to PEX Universe. If you watch this channel, chances are you're interested in or have done your own home plumbing. Well, today we're talking about five ways that your DIY plumbing would not stand up to inspection. We'll be going off the New York City plumbing codes, but most of the mistakes we're gonna be covering today are pretty much universal across all plumbing codes. If you're gonna be doing any work yourself, remember to check your state's relevant section of the construction code. First off, cleanouts. If you haven't heard of them, you're definitely doing something wrong. Cleanouts provide access to your drainage pipes in case of blockages. Every dirt drainage pipe must have a cleanout installed, minimum of every 100 feet, and every cleanout must have a clearance of about 18 to 32 inches, depending on the size of the pipe. There are a lot more specifics about cleanouts, and again, you can find all those in your state's specific code. While we're on the subject of drainage pipes, let's talk drainage pipe sloping. This is a very common mistake as it's a pretty specific regulation. For each size of drainage pipe, there's a certain minimum slope it must be installed at in order to prevent blockage. For a two and a half inch pipe or smaller, its minimum slope is a quarter inch per foot. Three to six inch pipe, eighth of an inch per foot. Finally, eight inch or larger, sixteenth of an inch per foot. You also have to be careful about what types of fittings you use on your drainage pipes. This one is pretty variable by location, but in general, there are restrictions about using sanitary tees, short sweeps, quarter bends, and other specialty fittings in your drainage system. That's not to say that none of these fittings can be used, but the code dictates certain restrictions based on the pipe size and the direction of the joint. Next up, fixture installation, specifically toilets. Should you seal your toilet to the floor after install? While the code says yes, actual plumbers are pretty split on the issue. Some people say the watertight seal is more sanitary and can prevent water damage, while other people say it will prevent you from seeing the leak until after extensive damage has been done. You'll have to come to your own judgment of that argument, but if your work is being inspected, the code does say that all fixtures must be sealed to the ground. Finally, we come to traps. I love all traps, but the code is not so open-minded. You are prohibited from using traps that require moving parts to make a seal, bell, pot, bottle traps with internal parts, crown vented traps, drum traps, and S traps. Yep, no S traps. That's the one that really gets a lot of people. All traps must have fresh air vents installed, no less than one half the diameter of the drain. That's all we got for you today. If you're gonna be installing any plumbing yourself, remember to look into your state's specific construction code. If you found this video informative, please remember to smash that like button and maybe even the subscription button too. And leave us a comment telling us what you liked about this video and what you wanna see in the future. Thanks, have a good one.